Hey, Skittles. I don't know if you were on the last live a few minutes ago, but hey, girl. Hey, Chanel. Welcome back. Welcome back, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, Kanisha and Lux, Clarinda. Hey, y'all. Welcome back, the ones who were here a few moments ago. I'm going to put on... Um, yeah, I don't have no um, index finger nail. That nail is always broken, and, like, I can never get it to grow back, but, um, I'm going to put on some cuticle oil so my fingers don't be so ashy. My hands are always so ashy. I wash them, like, 10,000 times a day. So... For those y'all who were not on the last live a few minutes ago, I was supposed to have my tits on already, but I'm like, let me come back. I told them like 10 minutes maximum. My sister was calling me crazy. I didn't even know that she had did because I put my phone do not disturb. And I thought that I would see my messages come through on my Apple Watch, but I guess I didn't see it come through. Um, and I went to use the bathroom real quick too so that I didn't have to pee while we were sitting here. But anyway, um, hey y'all, hey. Welcome back to the ones who were here earlier. Y'all, I'm missing like the size tips that I always use, like three, um, 10, nine and 10. And uh, I think that's six over there. So I have to file them to fit. I use those same sizes every time. Anyway, on the last live, y'all, we swatched Nail House's new Easter Basket acrylic collection. And it's the, it's the swatches underneath this box right here. And I wanted to... I wanted to come back and do a set with those colors. Well, some of them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use all of them. I was thinking that I wanted to challenge myself today <laughs> to... um not file the nails like do the application so good i don't have to file y'all i'd be tired of filing i know i'm not the only one and it takes up so much of my time like but i can just do the application do the design and just go i want to see if i can do that today <laughs> let me see how that works maybe buff some a little bit but if i do i don't know like, buff some a little bit and file sides and the tips, barely. Like, I'm be so tired of filing nails, y'all. That's my, I, that's the worst part for me. It used to be my favorite part, which is crazy, but I want to see if I can do that. I'm just put a little cuticle on, y'all, so we don't be so ashy. Oh, my gosh. I'm just using this cuticle oil that I got from Shein. Hey y'all, welcome back to the ones who were here and welcome to the ones who weren't here previously. Um, oh, we also in the last live swatched some not polish acrylics in June. Um, if y'all wanna check out that live later or whatever, it is gonna be available on my channel on the live tab. We swatched some not polish, some nail house, some good stuff over there. Okay, I need to change this monomer out too. I didn't get a chance to do all that I wanted to before I came back, but I told y'all 10 minutes ago, I'm like, girl, I'm like, I'm like, girl, where are you? I can't seem to pick a favorite. Um, Skittles, barely me too. I'm leaning more towards, I'll tell which colors I'm leaning, leaning more towards. Well, really all of them, like, I'm thinking I kind of want to do a nail with 3D flowers with all of them, for real. I'm going to see if I can, or at least, like, five of them. If I can pull that off, I don't know. I'm going to come up with something as I go. I was thinking, I definitely want to do, like, a tricolor type of ombre because I want to use a lot of the colors. Um, There will always be another time, but, y'all, it'd be so hard for me to use everything because just too much. But I do want to try it. I was supposed to, um, let me move this. I 
Oh, I'm sorry. We'll be using Nail, yes, Nail House's new Easter Basket collection. Yes, we will. Um, yes, Chanel, we have to. I was thinking these, at least to start off, I want to use these colors. These three. Um, um, Sugar Baby, Happy Feet, and Jelly Bean. This is not Jelly Bean, y'all. This is not Jelly Bean. This is um bunny ears. These two are backwards. I'm so dead. I didn't notice that until now. I must have got them mixed up. Like they probably went right next to each other and went looking or something. Cause this is not. These are mixed. These are switched. Pink one is uh bunny's ears. The green one is Jelly Bean. Let's change that. So on the last live, I unboxed this new not polish um dappin dish. It's so cute, y'all. I guess. I'm gonna actually switch to my regular one I always use because I've been liking that it's more room if that makes sense. But I love this one, it's super cute and fancy. Hey Cynthia, welcome back to the ladies who were here before. And welcome to the ones who were not. Hey Miss Miss Drea. Hey girl. Hey everyone. Yeah, Chanel, it is. I didn't notice that until literally just now. But all the other ones are right. These must have been right next to each other and I wasn't looking or paying attention barely. So, let me see. I really, 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 cause Mia Secrets Cover Pink is my go-to. I really want to use that one because I'm used to the consistency and I'm already like used to it. But I think it's only right that we use one of the news from the ones that just came out with their new collection. Oh, I thought bracelet come off. Okay. Um, I want to use warm honey, I guess so. Warm honey. Let's just put all of these back over here. Well, maybe not. I'm just going to grab them. So I want to use bunny ears. I really want to try using this orange and this one. Hmm. I want to use them all. Okay. I'm gonna try to use the majority of them. Hmm. Because we don't have to have two type of different blues going on. I'll just leave the sweet tooth one out and use happy feet. I really like that one. Yeah, we're gonna use these ones. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this. How are you all doing tonight? It's meant, dang, it's going on one o'clock where I am, 1 a.m. I'm not tired at all. I definitely had a nap. I barely nap anymore. I probably nap like <laughs> once every few months or something, but I need a nap today. Y'all, how fast does time fly? I was just telling them earlier that I haven't done a set in a month. That is wild. It doesn't even seem like it was that long ago, but it has in a little while. And I haven't posted on here in two weeks, a little bit over two weeks. That's kind of sloppy because my hand isn't steady. And this one was bunny ears. If y'all want to see the swatches of, like, us swatching these, um, we did a live a few minutes ago, previous to this one. Maybe not a few minutes ago, maybe, like, a little bit, like, 20 minutes ago we ended our live. Um, but, yeah. Nail House have a new collection available, the Easter Basket Collection. Acrylic Collection. Make sure y'all have a good angle. Um, yeah, it's really cute. Perfect, like, little pastel colors. 
pinky one is always way shorter than the rest of them so i'm not gonna worry too much about that i'm cut because i do want to do like a little ombre so i gotta leave them a little bit longer by the way i have on um nail houses 3xl taper square tips gonna be using their um their acrylics from the eastern basket collection carrot cake um let me just flip them over carrot cake peeps sugar baby bunny ears jelly bean happy feet and then i'm gonna use the warm honey warm honey nude put these right here real quick so i can see My thumb, I feel like be always cricket. Cricket, crooked, however you want to say it. I feel like I'm saying cricket, but crooked, crooked, however you say it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with the nude first. Just go ahead and open these up. Sorry, y'all. Um, thank you, Cynthia. Yes, remember to hit the like button. Marble. Um, I didn't, did not do marble last time? I feel like I did marble last time. I'm going to do ombre this time. And then I wanna I wanna use like a good amount of these acrylics, so I think I wanna do a tricolor ombre on like two nails, so I can use all of them. Love your nails. I wash them when I do my nails. Lol. Thanks, Christina. Thank you. Ombre marble. Ombre marble would kind of be cute. But I did ombre last time. I was trying not to do anything I did last time. I don't know why I did that that way. I wanted to look in. These colors are so freaking cute. Liquida, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I can't complain. I'm well, rest well rested. Um, and I'm glad to be here with y'all. I miss y'all. I have not been here like at all the past two weeks. Unusual for me, very. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm just thinking a second. I think we'll do like a, okay. Cause I want to do a nail with some flowers. I don't know y'all, I really don't want to file today, <laughs> but we're, we'll see. Come on, file at all. I wish we can just apply the acrylic and boom, do the design. Follow make me hot, it take too long. So this is this is not like my typical me a secret cover pink formula. So I'm gonna have to build this up a little bit slower than I normally would. This color is so freaking cute. This again is warm honey, one of the new nudes that Nail House just came out with. Um the link to Nail House is available in the description. All these acrylics were um, dropped. Chanel, was it yesterday? Like, Lord, I be forgetting my days. Um, it was just dropped, though. Brand spanking new <laughs> collection. They all are so freaking cute. We just watched all of them in the live preview. So this one, like, 20 minutes ago, we just ended that one. And, oh, let me try the neutralizer drops that we just got from Not Polish and this this one here. For those of y'all who were not on um, the last live, how y'all liking my new background? My new mat on my desk. I think it's so cute. More vibrant than the other one. I love color. I had that old one for ages, so it was like... I just had it, but it was so like non, like it was colorless. I love the way this acrylic goes on. Maybe I should try to do like my application super perfect so that I don't have to file. You know, I hate filing. It's the worst part for me. 
Let's try to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna try y'all. I was just saying that I was gonna do something. Oh, it was user drops. I'm trying to get this little piece from under here. If they want to stay, they can stay. Listen, ain't about to stress me out. I ain't trying to keep these people on here all night. Okay, let's use these, y'all. We unboxed some not polished before this, and this is my first time trying their neutralizer drops. That works pretty good for their um, acrylic. It smells like candy. Just three drops. One, two, three. I think it works pretty nicely. Sorry, let me see. Chanel said, hey, Ashton. Hey, Ashton and everybody I missed. Um, I totally forgot you were getting back on. <laughs> no worries, Alicia. Thank you for coming back. Welcome back. Um, ombre, ombre. Okay. Well, yeah, I think, yeah, I think ombre will look cute to her. Then the marble, and then we did marble last time. That's why I was saying I wanted to do ombre this time around. How long is nail school for Ohio? Ashton, I think it varies on like if you're going part-time or full-time um when i go i want to go full-time and the nail school that i want to go to they have a flash class which lasts only one month four weeks so that would just be perfect for me because then i trying to be there all you know for a long time <laughs> um i think it varies though if you go part-time you'll be looking to spend more time longer time like months there I think it just varies because you have to have so many hours. I just, I forgot how many hours it is as well, but you have to have so many hours. And if you go part-time, of course, it's going to take a little longer. Oh, I need to move y'all. Why is it not there? I think that's a little better. Let me zoom out a little. I need to try to keep my hand in one place so that it don't get out of frame. Definitely when I go to school, I'm going to do the... A lot of y'all probably already think I'm licensed. No, I'm completely self-taught. Um, but I do want to go to nail school this year. It's one of my goals. I contemplated for a long time whether I wanted to do other people's nails or not. But I'm like, for sure, you might as well. Might as well, girl. So I'm going to go take that flash class full time, four weeks, and get out of there. I think it will be so dope when I start taking clients, whenever that will be. Um, and then maybe one day I'll like travel. I have started doing um, acrylic press salons because I don't do like actual people so that people who is out of state can like get nails by me. Cause my press salons, like once you get them and apply them to your nails, it literally looks like it's a real full set because of the way that I do them. And I think that that was like brilliant when I first started doing them so that, you know, other people can have nails by me. I have a few videos on my channel. Um, I have one in particular, or maybe like two, but like really one that I did a person set for myself. So I can see kind of pretty much how that work and how they will look applied. And you can't even tell if I didn't tell you why they were like pressing ones. It's like a little something right here. Sorry, I'm in Indiana and we had 600 hours. I forget how many hours it is. I'm sorry. Flowers would be cute. I'm trying to get into 3D art. Yeah, Christina, flowers are really cute. I wish I was like really, really good at them. But I try my best. If I was using my I mean, secret acrylic, my application would be coming out a little better. But it's just because I'm used to that formula. Like I'm used to how fast it dries and like, you know, everything. But this one's coming out cool too. I just don't want to file y'all. So I'm trying to get it pretty smooth. I might end up having to file. Um, Is the peach, like is that the peach neutralizer? Actually, I don't think it said like any particular flavor or yeah, like flavor. Um, but 
Let me see. I actually really hate that I'm gonna have to file because this application is not coming out. How I want. Um, no, it doesn't say any particular flavor or nothing, fragrance or nothing. Nope, it's just this pink bottle from Not Polish. Um, doesn't neutralize actual work for the smell. It doesn't totally, um, not me sniffing. Because I'm just trying to see. Yeah, it doesn't totally, like, get rid of the smell. But honestly, but I'm used to monomer, but I can't smell anything. Um, opposed to, like, before I applied the drops in there, I could smell it a little bit. But I can't really smell anything right now. So it definitely does help is what I'm trying to say. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, Brittany girl. So the new that I'm using right now, again, is Nail House's Warm Honey. I love it. It's super cute. I'm gonna be done with this jar though real quick let me get a four ounce of it because it's cute i really like it. it's my favorite new from the ones i swatched today um my colors yep Thank you, Chanel. The color she's using now looks like warm honey. A nude from, yep. Yes, it is warm honey. I need to stop moving my hand because I feel like I look up and I'm in a different spot. I can barely see. Yeah, No, it's very cute. And it reminds me of Mia Secret. For those of y'all who like Mia Secret cover pink as well, like me, kind of reminds me of it. Um, How do you do your sizes in, in the process of getting my press on business going? Um, Who said that? Ashton, I offer sizing kits. It's pretty much the only thing that I do because... It just avoids the risk of them, like, you know, sizing their own nails and then it, and then it's wrong, you know? So, pretty much, I do sizing kits where I put 10 different size, you know, tips, like, 0 through 10 tips. And, you know, I ship them out to them. And they measure their, like, they measure the tips up to their nails. And they all write down their sizes. That's on the card that I offer. I can show you if you would like to get an idea of the card that I use. And they snap a photo and they send it to me. I don't have a website. Only because all of my, um, I guess I could, but pretty much I do made to order. Like I don't have any pre-made ones and all of the sets that I do are custom, like to how they want them and their nail sizes and everything like that. So that's why I don't have any pre-made one. They're all made to order, but that's the way I do it. I do it through message on IG. My info's in the description. I know you don't want to buy any. You're asking to get your own started up, but that's just the way that I do. Um... But you can have them, like, they have this sizing chart different, like, thing where you can, they can take a, like, little tape measure and measure their nails by the millimeter or whatever, and you can do it that way. But I just kind of, like, don't like to do that. Like, I try to avoid that because a lot of, when I used to do that starting out, they would um, not do it right. And then all their nail sizes would be, like, super off. Opposed to just having the tips, you know, and they just put it on a nail. And they say, this is the size tip for this nail, that nail, next nail. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's way easier that way. This nail is so cute. Sorry, I'm going to see what y'all say in a moment.
Um, I'm a dynamic. Wait, I'm dynamic, or the store is called dynamic. Um, are you talking about dynamic nail supply? Christina, some people say the neutralizer is working my opinion. I don't think it does, but everyone has their own opinions. Dynamic scuffs. Where? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. So somebody named Scuff asks, where can newbies buy quality products for good prices? Yes, Dynamic Nail Supply. I love, love, love that. Um, let's see. I'm going to pull out one from them. Oh, let's it doesn't say like on the the full name but it's called dynamic nail supply um i love the acrylics they are super they have a super beginner friendly formula where it's not super fast drying at all gives you a whole lot of time to work with but it's not runny and they're only six dollars per jar opposed to like your typical fifteen dollars for your one ounce jar love that brand i always recommend it to beginners only because of the price point now we're talking about formulas I always recommend that one, and I'll always recommend Nail House. Those are my two favorite, formula-wise. But Dynamic Nail Supply is a little bit um, more, like, inexpensive if you want to, like, build your um, collection up really quick. Because it's only $6 for one jar. Sorry, let me scroll down. Thanks, Jennifer. My husband hates the smell. I have been considering getting some. Yeah, I don't know. I've seen some people say that it don't work, or and I don't know which ones they're using. Um, this is my. Hmm. I've tried actually in the past. I've tried a brand named Chisel. Their um odor drops. But this is my first time trying not polish, and I think it pretty much works. Oh, I did not want to foul today. That sounds kind of lazy, but I just really hate filing. And because I like my nails filed a certain way, it's like, it takes me a while. All that is spreading quick. This is also why I like to use my, um, not saying that this is bad. It's just like, I'm so used to using my Mia Secret Cover Pink Nude Acrylic. Like, I'm used to that dry time and like how that consistency already is and getting used to different nudes it's like i love 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 the way you need to get cover can go on i'm hating this application with this acrylic only because i'm super impatient i don't like to wait for the bead to polymerize so it's like yeah it's not coming out as like i want it to but it's all good i'm gonna do uh i have to do some tricolor ombres so I'm thinking I should do some flowers, some 3D flowers probably on the ring fingernail. And I really wanted to do like some pink, like a uh, French or something to incorporate pink. I want to do like some kind of glitter. It's like small little shimmer glitters going on with these um, acrylics. You'll see when I use them. I need to just stop being impa impatient and let the acrylic polymerize. I don't like to. I'm um, sorry, y'all. The names of the store, yes, is Dynamic Nail Supply. Mm -hmm. They're based in um, Houston. They have a website. It's just dynamicnailsupply.com. What I do is use a purifier, and I put all my paper towels and something. I conceal it so it helps the smell go away faster. Yep, Jennifer, I do the same thing. I put mine in a jar with a lid. Um, hey, Portia. Hey, chat. Hey, Keeler. Been here a while for my TV. I'm back now on the phone. Welcome back, Healer. Thanks for coming back. No. They're not going to do that. Mm. 
This is about to be. Mm, well, it's not so bad. That, this application is not so bad, but. I just love my secret cover pink acrylic. Dries faster. And I love the consistency of that one. Um, hey, oh, I saw that one. Do they ship to Canada? Dynamic? I believe so. I know Nail House does for sure, but Dynamic, I'm not sure, but I think they do. That's this one, too. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I believe. Yep, I think they do. Scuffed, they are from Nail House. They are their 3XL tapered square tips. Mm-hmm. Didn't forget. Yep, that's what I just said. That's why I love the dynamic for beginners. I love dynamic in general, but I love it for beginners. I always recommend beginners that one because it's cheap, but it's also a good quality formula that drives a little bit slower. Me personally, as well can see, see and tell, I really like faster drying acrylics. I hate waiting for the acrylic to polymerize um, and dry. Like I hate it so much. So I don't wait it, wait for it to dry, and then when I because I don't wait for it, my acrylic doesn't always come out as smooth as I want it to. Like if every if every acrylic can be like the Mia Secret <laughs> Cover Pink acrylic, like dry as fast as that one, I would just love it. And if you don't know what polymerize means, basically it's like when you put the acrylic on the brush and you wait and wait and wait until it's like a glossy bead. You can see it's slowly turning right now. Did y'all just see that? I don't like waiting until now. It's like a long time to wait. And then it's kind of like the perfect consistency. But I don't like waiting like that. I just like putting it on there. Sometimes it goes into places I don't want it to go and then it's like, it doesn't come out like smooth as I want it to, but I should probably wait. I just don't feel like it. Who just have time to sit here all day long? But I guess, I don't know. See, this is perfect. You see how that's going on? Because I waited for it to polymerize. Perfect. I guess I already be sitting here all day. It's taking me forever to do everything. But, but no, I just don't like waiting. That's all I'm saying. Um, let me keep scrolling. I'm just my braid just got on the dynamic dust supplier. How does it come compare? Oh, how does it compare to eye gel? I've never tried eye gel acrylics actually. I've never. Does anybody have anybody try eye gel acrylics and can um compare it to dynamic? Uh, hey, Anissa girl. Hey, girl. Thank you. Isn't it so, like, vibrant? I love the new background, too. I custom made it on Zazzle. It was, like, $30. Opposed to my old one that I made on Vista Print that was, like, $50. Something like that, yeah.
tell us about your YouTube journey, the how to's, any tips. So, I'm gonna change this paper towel out. Um, so I'll mention that I procrastinated for a long time. I started my YouTube channel three years ago. My three year, three year anniversary just came up, um, two days ago. But I procrastinated for a long time because if you all can't tell, I'm super like introverted. I'm also a Virgo, so I'm even more introverted. And it's like, I used to be really shy and um i just procrastinated for a long time because like i have to talk to people back then i was like just super scared i guess but it's like nothing to me now but i procrastinated and then i always and then too because um i'm a virgo i don't know if y'all heard we're kind of like perfectionists a little bit and I was like, everything has to be perfect. I have to have the perfect equipment. I have to have everything perfect, perfect, perfect in line, you know? And I procrastinated for a long time. And I just was like, girl, when I say a long time, I mean like months, maybe even like a year. Like I thought about it for a while um, and I contemplated it. And I'm like, girl, if you literally don't start right now, you're never gonna start. You're gonna just keep using excuses. They gotta be the perfect time. You have to have the perfect stuff. And back then, I had an Android. I didn't even have any type of iPhone. Um, and it's like, girl, so literally, I went on Amazon, and I brought a $15 phone stand, the one phone mount, that I, same one I currently use today, same one that y'all popped up on right now. <laughs> um, and I literally just started recording. That's it. Like, I literally just started recording. Um, why I wanted to start my YouTube channel is because... I wanted to, um, back then, I wasn't that good. Like, if you go back to my first YouTube video, but I had hopes and I knew that it was inevitable that I would only get better. And that's what I tell a lot of you all and beginners all the time. Like, you cannot go backwards. If you practice consistently, you will only, only get better. Like, literally. So, um, I wanted to show people my process because I thought it was cool, like, showing people my process and also like showing my journey and like as well as like for me looking back on my journey as well like my old videos and like where i came from you know and yeah that's pretty much why i wanted to start my youtube channel it's just like help people and show my journey you know um tips to start just do it like nike <laughs> like literally just do it don't wait till you have the perfect equipment don't wait for the perfect time perfect anything because Literally, like, the time is going to pass, and it's like, you know, start where we, we're not perfect at all. Um, and even, like, then, I had probably only been... Around that time, I had just really started getting into practicing nails consistently. Like, before then, when I started my YouTube channel three years ago, before then, I was just barely doing nails, like, just barely. I would do them, like, once every, like, six months or something, just to do them on myself, just to kind of, like, play around with acrylic. But I really started getting into doing it consistently when I started my YouTube channel. And if you go back and watch my videos from there, I have, like, way too many videos. But if you, like, just go back to the first video, you're going to be like, oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, like, it's inevitable that we grow over time and with consistency. So if you want to start a YouTube channel, like, literally go for it. Have the right intentions, though. Like, don't just start it. Because a lot of people start it and think that people get paid a ton of money on this app. And that is not at all the case. And if you don't have a YouTube, make one. You'll find out soon enough. Um, it does take time a lot of determination and consistency. Um, people always ask me, like, if I could just give... If I could just give one tip, like, just one, it will be with anything that you do, you have to stay consistent. If you do not stay consistent, you will not see any results. Like, any. And consistency can look like once every week if you have time. Like, some people don't have time for different things, and I understand that. But I also feel like you can make time. People make time for what they want to make time for. So, consistency can look like once a week. It can look like twice a week. Um, it just looks like consistency. Like, consistently doing something. Like, don't just post a video once a month or once every three months or whatever and disappear and you know like you have to stay some kind of consistent um so that's like my number one tip 
Okay, I'm on old comments now. I'm just trying to like get into this question that Scuff asked me. Let me take a sip of water a second and I'm gonna scroll down while I'm doing them. <gasps> Y'all, oh my God. Literally, I'm looking at the comments thinking I flipped my top over <laughs> to put my back on my water bottle. <clears throat> That dust just got in my mouth. Oh my god! <sighs> and I never flipped my top over, so that was just that was just great, Porsche. Hold on, y'all. That was just great. All that dust just got in my mouth. This is dry, and that's also great. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. <coughs> I feel like that does literally just got all in my mouth. Because I was like... <gasps> <coughs> oh, my God. I feel like I just ate a mouthful of dust. My goodness. Come on, I'm going take a sip of water. That was just so great. Sorry, I was answering a question. Let me scroll down. I'm on old comments right now. If you like, I can tell you a few cookies that's really good. Question, how did you start your personal nail business? Trying to start my own personal business locally. Hold on, I'm just like scanning the comments. You chew tobacco? Who, dude, who chew tobacco? I never smoked a cigarette in my life. Or chew tobacco, like what? Um, I can look into them, thank you. Do you chew tobacco? Whoever just asked that, Ryan. I'm just. I'm really not trying to be funny. I'm just. Um, trying to. I guess gauge why you asked that. No, I don't. Um. I've been trying to film and been looking crazy. I finally learned a pop up method. Oh my god. I feel like I literally. <coughs> like I want to breathe out. <laughs> like outward get all i feel like i just inhale a lot of dust y'all that was just crazy i wouldn't even look and read in the comments and flip this acrylic over thinking it was my top the whole time oh lord if you're a beginner wait let me just try to answer one thing at a time um Brittany, i have a video on my channel about everything you need to start a personal business like the what is this card called the little jewelry boxes i use for my press ones and um how i get custom like my little cars everything it's all pretty much in that video pretty much um and if you have any more questions you can inbox me mm. Okay, if you're a beginner and you know so acrylic, you want to stay away from the chocolate acrylics. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to sound looking crazy. I'm wearing a pop-up like that. Chris. Um, that's another thing, too. I feel like we have to allow ourselves to be beginners. Like I was saying, nothing is perfect in the beginning. You just do with what you have and grow as you go, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thank you, Scuff. Thank you so much. Me, too. I just went back to today. So, how long? I've been watching... Oh, you're trying to say C, C. How long I've been watching no videos and has time on my channel and it's been seven, seven years? Oh my goodness, um, Keeler. Just go and then if you don't do it, you'll never know if you like it or not. Sorry, I'm probably on super old comments. I'm just trying to see if I miss no questions. Thank you so much, Heather. Hey girl, I haven't seen you. Hey, Heather. Uh, uh, uh good healer just i feel like you have to just start and just do it and just go you know as you go and if you don't like it then you know just you just gotta do it are you gonna do this watching video of new easter best collection heather i just did it the video sorry i'm talking fast because i'm trying to hurry up and <laughs> read these comments make sure i um forget no questions or miss no questions heather i just went live right before this one so it's already on my channel me watching this collection uh, I've been wanting to make nail veneers forever and I keep procrastinating. I just need to do it. Yes, you do, Heather, and everybody who keeps procrastinating. 
Mm-mm. Thank you, Keeler. Thank you, thank you. Good night, Anissa. Okay, I'm caught up. Sorry, y'all. That was just, like, crazy. Um, But, yes. Also, so consistency, just do it. Um, Work with what you have. I started with using this old Samsung Galaxy. If you go back to my first videos, it was not good quality. Um, what else? What else? What else? Get you a little phone stand. The one that I started my YouTube channel with is the one that I use currently to this day. And that one's in my Amazon storefront. Um, let's see. I do need to make a video on like navigating the YouTube studio app and things like that. Um, I know when I first started my YouTube channel, it was different back then. You had to have so many um, watch time hours or whatever to begin getting monetized. Um, but now I think it's different. You have you need to have a lot less now. It used to be like um, so many subscribers and then like 4,000 watch time hours. I think it's a lot less now. Um, well, that's what else. And then also, I don't even know how I didn't mention that because you were asking about YouTube tips and starting a channel. If you look in the description, I feel like my chest hurt. Oh my God, y'all. Hopefully I didn't inhale too much dust. Um, if you look in the description, you will see a how to grow your YouTube channel part one and two videos. I was doing a nail set in those videos while I was talking and sharing those tips with you guys. You'll see those videos linked in the description. Those are very, very good videos. Super helpful. Um, highly recommend you all checking them out. I'm so not liking this application. I need to just, should have just wait for it to, um, I'm not laughing at you, but I'm laughing with you. Heather, Heather that was just crazy right now. That was just crazy. <laughs> Heather, the last live, we, mm-hmm, yep, we swatched the Easter basket collection. Okay, don't dry fast. This is gonna be good enough. These don't have to be perfect application. I'm gonna file these anyway. Shoot. That already went out the door when I started. Okay. So this was warm honey by nail house and it's still half an drawer. Link to nail house in the description. Use code Portia for savings. Now we're gonna do some ombre, some tricolor ombre. Doing my own nails the past two years has really, what well, has me really wondering if I'm left or right handed. I thought I would, it would be hard, so hard. Y'all bear with me. I can barely see you. So hard to do my right hand with my left hand. They both turn out better with every set. Yes, Shelby, I love that for you. You're only gonna get better like the more you do it. I've been out of practice with doing my uh right hand for so long so it would look a total mess um but i used to have them but not quite anymore but yeah the more you do something um the longer you do something the better you are going to get at it it's literally inevitable because you get practice with doing it over and over and over and over and over again you can only get better you know okay now i want to do let's do this color at the tip This color is so freaking pretty. I like to swipe swipe my when I'm doing the ombres, the colors upward just so that it can like be like that blend already going on. And it's not like a harsh line and it's a little bit more thinner so that the ombres can look somewhat perfect, you know. Oh, that's something I was trying to say too before all that happened was how I was saying that I'm just super in introverted when, when um, I was gonna say when I was younger, but when I was younger too, but like, I used to be really shy, I didn't like to talk. If you go back to my first YouTube videos, literally I used to put words across the screen. Like I used to type words on the screen because I was like, you know, like just afraid, I guess probably not com so much confident in talking, but speaking and things like, you know, like, like, so. But then like after a while I got out of that and I started speaking. And also, too, like, I think a lot of people are like that. I even say it still to this day. Like, I don't like listening to my, like, even when I watch my videos back, I turn the volume off because 
I don't like listening to myself talk. Like, it's just weird to me. I don't like it. I can't hear my own voice. It's just weird. Um, but yeah. You just gotta go for it. I tried using my current phone. Absolutely terrible. Sometimes too, like, actually, I recommend a phone with some good storage too, whether it's an Android or iPhone. I personally now currently use my phone, which is, um, and I, the only reason I got this phone is because I um, like to film YouTube videos because I wouldn't care for iPhone otherwise, but I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I recommend if you are going to get an iPhone to get one that um, has a lot of storage because if you're going to be filming and things from your phone, if you're not going to use like a camera, um, you're going to need a little bit of storage. Do you like the drops? Are they working? Yes, they are working. I think they are. I like them and I can still smell them. Pour some more monomer. I do really like them. I'm using the Not Polish Neutralizer drops. They smell like candy. So now I still haven't put my foot on what they smell like. Not my foot, my finger. <laughs> I put my finger on what it smell like. It reminds me of a very specific scent that I can't think of. Okay, I want to do purple. Let's do purple to pink ombre. I used to like Drake, but not anymore. Just like a little remix of one of his songs. Um, I mean, I don't hate him. It's just that, I don't know. I'm not as rap anymore. And then, like, I feel like he's corny. That's a whole other subject. Oh, this is a remix of uh, their song, Rihanna and his song together. Work. This is a non-copyright playlist on YouTube so that we don't get blocked. And this playlist in particular... Is from a channel named Victoria Lachey. No, this is so cute, y'all. That's giving me Easter already. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. If I miss any comments or anything, just comment in again. If I have any questions, I'm going to do my best to answer. Some people, who said that? Shelby, some people are ambidextrous as well, and that's really dope. Like, can you use both hands? Um, do you like, okay, I heard, I saw that one. I hope you're okay, drink my water, like, a lot. Okay, I'm gonna drink some more water. <laughs> I literally was like, <gasps> <laughs> my whole mouth was open when that happened. It's like I could taste the dust in my mouth. Mm. Do you have a YouTube little discount code? Um, no. I do not have a Timu discount code. I don't really shop on Timo like that they email me like every day though like but I just haven't responded yet like trying to um work with me mm. this is gonna be so cute y'all For real, for real, I could have did. No, let me keep in mind that these are a little bit drying a little fast. Oh, this is too cute. Um, I really could have did just like the ombre all the way up the nail, but I'll do some nude at the um base. These are so cute, y'all. They kind of remind me of Zule's, but Zule's are more like, 
Hmm. These are more like solid kind of. It's like a solid color with like shimmer in it. Zule's is like a super cute like kind of translucent but not really transparent glitters. They're so cute. Her floral collection. I gotta sneeze, y'all, but it's just not coming out. Whatever. Do you, okay, so that one shimmer. Yes, it's so cute. That's real cute. I think on the, ooh, I think at the thumb, I'm gonna do like orange, yellow, and green. Okay. This orange is so pretty. Wait, let me think about this. I think we should do light to dark. So let's do. Hmm. No, no, I kind of want to do. Huh. Okay, I kind of want to do pink too. I'll do a little bit of pink. Appreciate all of you who are here that joined us and are still here. I know it's really late or well, where I am. It's uh, 1 30 a.m. Not tired though, because I had a nap. But I appreciate y'all for hanging out with your girl. I definitely miss y'all. Haven't been on here in a while. To me, two weeks is a long time. Um, appreciate y'all. I hope you all are having a good night so far wherever you are. I know it's y'all on different time zones. Day, night. I think pink and orange look so cute together. So I kind of want to do a little bit of pink too. I'm gonna do four colors on this stem. I could use a little, use a little less orange. The pink gonna be like a little pink of blue. Oh, I just used too much orange. At the tip. I didn't want it to be like prominent. Just like a little peek of blue. Oh, y'all zoomed out a lot. I gotta zoom y'all back in. That's so cute. I'm obsessed. Me either. I sound like I'm holding my nose to me. I'm dead killer. I think no one likes their own voice. Like, I don't know anyone who likes hearing, like, listening to their own voice. I definitely don't like to. And sometimes I be sounding crazy because I talk fast, but I'm trying to slow it down. Also, somewhere I have braces, so it sounds like I have a lisp a little bit. And it's just, just like, yeah. And when I say sort of, it's because I used to have braces, but then where I used to go, they, like, keep rescheduling my appointments. And then, like, and then at that point, my wires were, like, getting loose. They were stabbing me. So at that point, when they can't, we canceled my appointment, I pulled my wires out, and I actually never went back. I actually never went back. So I currently just have all my brackets. <laughs> That's why I said kind of have braces. But yeah, sometimes I just, I just don't like listening. I think no one does. Just like weird. And we sound, maybe we sound a little different than people hear us. I gotta use, okay, I gotta use yellow and then green. A lot of people think that um i would say i sound fine or whatever i just think no one likes to hear it y'all this is fire it's even like sunset that's so cute omg omg i should have did this on a on the middle finger now too but no unicorn this one's giving like sunset omg um oh let me scroll down 
I started learning it was at home from my mom. She was sad through my lockdown, so. Oh, let me get some more green. It's gonna dry. Oh, I don't think this green will look cute because this green is kind of like pastel. I don't know if that would look cute blended with this yellow. I don't want to risk it either, but I guess we'll try it. Um, Shelby, that's dope that you did that for your mom. That's so nice. Cause this, this green is a little bit more like pastel -y opposed to, uh, maybe it will look cute. Oh, that looks kind of cute. That's actually really cute. It's actually really cute, y'all. This reminds me of Princess Tiana, this color. I'm waiting for the like the another movie to come out, like the realistic Disney movie, kind of like, you know, like real people, if that makes sense. And I really want Coco Jones to play Tiana, Princess Tiana, so bad. If y'all know who that is. If she don't be so mad. But I think she may play Princess Tiana. Y'all, this ombre I'm living for. Like I can do a whole set like this. So cute. Y'all, Ari Blair is just my stupid little iPad. Um her wait, her so I nose and my own nails. Dope, Shelby. Dope, dope, dope. OMG, you are so talented. Oh, thanks, Christina. Those colors are everything. Thank you, thank you. I love these colors so much, y'all. This collection is everything, everything, everything. Nail houses. Easter basket collection. This is the website. Well, the, the brand, the website is in the description below. Y'all, look at this freaking thumb. Like, I'm mad because I want all of my nails to be like this now. I'm not that mad, but that's so freaking cute. Um, but, okay, and then I was saying the Nail House's website is in the description below. But, yes, I want Coco to play her so bad. Okay, that's enough, y'all. We're not, we not going to be here all morning. It's technically morning now, so. Let's hurry. I'm going to ombre the rest with the nude. The same nude I used on the other nails. And then I'm going to move on to shaping. Oh, and encapsulate. I'm gonna just go on here. So when do you do the never? <laughs> Scuffed, I never do the other hand. I stopped doing the full sets on myself. When I started my YouTube channel, I had to make a sacrifice. I didn't have to, but I knew that if I wanted to be consistent, I couldn't keep regular nails on anymore. So I pretty much just do this one hand and pop them off right after I'm done. <laughs> like when I'm done and I take videos, I pop them right off so that I can begin my next set. Not the same day usually, maybe it's like the next day or the day after. I'm not as consistent as I used to be anymore. I want to get back to that, but yeah, unfortunately I never do my hands, not anymore. Um, yeah, sorry. You don't think that I, I did a couple videos on my YouTube to show y'all, like, when, like, when I used to do a couple times, I did do a full set on, on here, um, my right hand, but I never show my right hand because like, these are just pop up. I pop them off right after. Oh my gosh, y'all, this dumb. I just can't. I love how the pink is kind of like peekaboo-ish. Then like, and you can't barely tell these two different colors with the yellow. I kind of want to add a little bit more yellow, but I'm gonna leave it that way. Cause it's really cute. Cause it goes pink, orange, yellow to green. Super cute. So people always ask me about ombre and I still have yet to make a freaking video on it. But I should have waited for this to polymerize, but I always recommend that when you're ombre, this bead is gonna be a mess. Um, you have to work a little bit wetter. I just totally covered up this pink. Oh, I just totally covered up this pink. Hmm. It's kind of okay. I'm gonna add a little bit. I'm gonna try to add a little bit more. But anyway, you wanna work wetter than normal so that it can be an easy blend. 
it's a smooth blend. Also, when you're doing your ombre beads, whatever color you're using, whatever you're ombre, um, you want to only swipe from that bottom of the bead because I've seen a lot of people say they have an issue with bringing the whole bead down. And if you swap, swipe from the top down, you're gonna bring too much down. So you wanna swipe from the bottom of the bead down, if that makes sense? So that you can have your ombre and work wetter. If you work too dry, it won't blend and swipe as easy, if that makes sense. Um, and then also when you're doing ombres, like I told, showed y'all in the beginning, I like to swipe the color upward. Of course, we're doing the cuticle bead, so we're not gonna be swiping this upward and we're not gonna do any more ombres after this one. But I like to swipe upward so that the color can kind of like already begin that ombre, so it's not a harsh line there. We don't want harsh lines. Um, and also so that it can be a little bit thinned out, you know, so it don't be like a harsh, bulky line, if that makes sense. And the next color will blend down seamlessly. Thank you, Chris. I wish I could get in this line. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking about that. I looked into it, but same. And when I go back, I will have to pay out of my pocket too when I do go back and get my razors. Cause my shoe, like first of all, my teeth were never like really quick, cricket, cricket, crooked, crooked, whatever, however you want to say it. Um, I just have like an open bite, if that makes sense. Like my teeth were all straight. It's just like they don't quite the bite don't close. That makes sense. Um, but anyway, since I pulled my wires out because they were sticking me and they kept rescheduling my appointment and I never went back, my teeth started to do weird things like separate and I have just like one tooth, not one tooth, two teeth, like my friend, two teeth are now separated so I have the tiniest gap. I never had a gap in my life and that's so annoying, but hey, it is what it is. But since I'm not 21 anymore, um, I have to pay out of my pocket whenever I do go back. I do want to add some more of that pink so it can come through a little bit more. Hmm. I'm going to do a little bit more of this pink some kind of way so that it can come through a little bit more. If y'all wasn't here with me, I definitely would have done this application and came back the next day and filed these nails and did the design because <laughs> sometimes I'd be like over it after the application. And I'd be dreading shaping. Am I the only one? No, just me. Thing, but I don't want to bring this pink too far down over this purple. I feel like I'm about to ruin this whole ombre. Just because I wanted a little bit more pink. I'm sure I should just leave it alone. It doesn't have to be perfect anyway because we're going to encapsulate it. So let me see. Yes, Alicia, I love Coco. I hope she plays Tiana. I don't know. Do y'all even know when they're coming out with the, the new one? I don't know if they set a date yet. I doubt it, though. I'm gonna leave this alone, y'all. If I ruin, ruin it more, I think because I already bought some of this pink up a little bit over this nude, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more. Hmm. 
Let me see how that look. I mean, it don't look bad. I'm going to leave it. Um, not me actually making it to one of your lives. Hi, Isabel. Welcome, welcome. Thanks, Chanel. I love, love, love this one. Which one do y'all like more? This ombre with the, like, unicorn vibes or this one? I love this one more. The house acrylics are $21 Canadian. Oh, dang. Yeah. That kind of suck. I'm gonna change the paper towel out. Oh, that is so cute. I'm gonna change the paper towel out real quick, y'all. Um, I have a, oh, okay, I saw that one. I have a few side gaps in an overbite. Yeah. That sucks. Not like, it's not the worst thing ever. But, don't we wish it was like some kind of, something where we didn't have to, like something easier where we can get straight teeth? <laughs> I wish. Please do a, oh, please do an in-depth ombre video. I was wait, still stuck on ombre. I make them work, they turn out okay, but I suck. Your ombre is, oh, bomb as always. I can barely see, so I didn't see that emoji. <laughs> um, Thank you, Heather. I am. I know I've been saying that, y'all. <sighs> I get tired of myself, really, but it's just that. I be promising so many videos. I already haven't been here for, like, two weeks. By the time I remember what I'm supposed to go on. I be needing to get out different other sets, other different sets, other different videos. And it's just like but I will. I will, I promise. Man, Christina, that's what I'm saying. Hold on. I really hate filing. I really do. I don't even know how that used to be my favorite part. Like, girl, what? It's like a workout. I get hot. It's just annoying. I wish I can just skip. Just skip. Straight from application to the design. I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to bring this one down too much because that bead was too big. That's what you don't want to do. You just want to work small beads at a time when doing ombres. Otherwise, you'll bring down too much. But maybe I'll do it like the middle finger one and um, bring the green up over it. And I'm talking about my do 3D flowers, girl. You over here taking forever. Um, so Canada is a quarter under your dollar. If the one ounce acrylic is six dollars, there. How the hell? 
No. Oh, you talking about dynamic? Dynamic as twenty one dollars? No, that's wow. And I know that they charge different for different shippings and no, that's crazy. That's not sounding too right. Um, oh, you like the middle one better? Of course, Chanel. <laughs> I don't know. They're both cute. They're both really cute. But I just really like, I live for this like little sunset thing going on with the green attic. I don't know how the green would look though. Like I'm right on top of this. I feel like it may not look because it's like pastel -y, opposed to like a type of almost like neon. I'm flooding the heck out of my cuticle because I don't like waiting for it to polymerize. Okay, where's this screen? <sighs> How long have we been here? A little over an hour. Hour, 18 minutes. I don't want to cover the yellow. Oh, that's cute. Okay, that's actually cute. Like over the nude. Also, too, I don't want to. I don't want y'all to feel like I'm holding y'all's hostage. Like I know some of y'all probably tired, got work and things. I know, like I'm guilty too. Like when I used to be on people's lives and things, like I feel like I can't go to sleep until I see the finished results. I'd be so tired. Like when I used to watch Zulay's lives, I haven't been on TikTok in forever. I keep that app off my phone because it's so addicting. If I get on there, and I'd be in trouble scrolling for too long. Um, but, um, but yeah, yeah, I don't feel, you don't have to feel that way. But I appreciate y'all so much for being here. Okay, we're gonna encapsulate next. We used um, Nail House's New Easter Basket Collection. Um, Happy Feet, Sugar Baby, Bunny Ears. Bunny Ears is the pink one at the tip here on the thumb. Um, then we did the orange. Orange is Carrot Cake, Yellow is... I forgot. Hold on. It's Peeps in the green. Yes. Jelly bean, I think it's jelly bean. Yep. So we're gonna begin encapsulating these two, those two ombres, and move on to shaping. The part I dread so badly. Wait. No, oh, I'm not out of clear. I got clear somewhere else. Here we go. I'm like. I kept this because I like. Sometimes I mix acrylics and I might put something in there. I don't want to throw it away. Okay, so we're gonna use Me Secrets Clear because this is my favorite clear. Hi, Mimi's nails. Hey, girl.
This is me trying to hurry up. <laughs> What are you all up to at this time of day or night, wherever you all are? See, I like this is what I'm talking about, y'all. I love me a secret because I'm used to using the formula and I love how like fast they're drying it is. I know exactly the dry time and everything. So it's like, it just goes on. Oh, could y'all see me this whole time? I think I could. So smooth, I just love it. Oh, that was too much like that. I don't even have to think when I'm using Mia yeah, Secrets Acrylic. Let me go ahead and add a little bit more nudes in here. It's not nude. Where'd the nude one go? Back on break. Welcome back, Bree. Did you, um, I don't think you, I don't know if you answered me. I thought at a point you told us that you work from home. If you do, at least you don't gotta, you know, you just in one spot. Welcome back, girl. Oh my God. Just wanna add a little bit. I need to work on my patience with acrylic. Yes, but aren't they so pretty? Love, love, love these colors. And y'all gotta have at least one or two of these. Sometimes when I um, encapsulate, like if you add too much clear over it, take away from like the actual like, because then it appears like farther away, further away since it's like uh, under a lot of clear acrylic and it doesn't, the colors don't be popping as much, if that makes sense. And before, in the past, I used to think I used to have to add a whole lot of acrylic, but you really don't have to add a whole lot of clear when you're encapsulating. Oh, I hate the way that cuticle looks. But thank God for filing, right? Even though I hate it. Thank the Lord for it. This mom is so dirty, but this is our last nail. Every time I get to the thumb, it's, it gets a little wonky because the mono would be so dirty. Oh, that was too much like what? I'm trying to hurry up, y'all. <laughs> if you can't tell. Okay, that's good enough.
clean my brush real quick. So that we can move on to shaping. I like to show this. So to clean my brush, y'all, I just do a little bit of monomer, less little bit of acetone, 100%. Swirl it around. Procrastinating on studying. What time is it where you are, Christina? I could add a little bit more acrylic right there, but these are literally coming right off as soon as we done. And I take a little bit of videos. Actually, I don't even feel like taking videos today. I'm up this late because I got no school tomorrow. And it's my first time it's on a wig, a wig tee. <laughs> um, no school tomorrow, Isabel? Is there something? To, what's tomorrow? What color wig are you installing? You say your first time? It's probably fun. I'm too scared of her wigs. I don't know if I would like them like that. I'm a braid girl, braid locks type of girl, my natural hair type of girl. I never tried a wig before. I wanna lock my real hair up, but I'm just waiting for it to get long. It's pretty long, but my hair is natural, so it shrinks, which I hate so much. I don't wanna have baby locks. I'm um, just finished taking my braids out too. 12.55 here, my husband got off at 11. We're just relaxing. Cool. Cool, yeah, I'm just I'm just chilling with y'all, but I took a nap earlier as well, so that's why I'm not tired. Otherwise, I would have been gone. It is 2 a.m. now. Didn't know that, but I have nowhere to be, you know? <laughs> okay, y'all. So in a moment here, we are gonna turn on this dust collector. Hopefully, it is not too loud. Y'all don't get to hear it. Um, on my videos that I edit, but y'all gonna hear it today. I think these are gonna turn out so cute whenever we get to the design part. Hey, you all, so I out with your girl. I'm gonna do these nails. I'm about to move it to filing in one moment. Um, scuffs, um, sketches. I have never tried young nails. I think I have one acrylic literally that I bought from them years ago that I never tried on nails, but I think I may have swatched it. Um, so yeah, I can't really say that. I can't really tell you which one is better, but I love Mia Secret. They're nudes and they're clear. Okay, so I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna bust out a new file so that it can be brand new and we can file fast. Um, just move this stuff. Scrolling Facebook and just saw. Hold on. Let me plug this. Get this plug. Wrong plug. Where's the dust collector? Okay. Okay. Oh, this is not that. Where is this freaking plug, guys? I'm gonna irritate me. I'm so confused right now. Is this not? Oh, that's not the one. Got time for this. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, scrolling Facebook and just saw Barbie. 
With the bong? What? <laughs> Do you like Young Nail System? I've never tried it, Scuffed. Um, 2 a.m. I have a test tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> save me. <laughs> well, if you, oh, you said you're contemplating studying. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you should study, girl. So, so I'm going to turn my, uh, not turn my mask up. I'm going to pull my mask up. I have one on, but I want y'all to hear me a little bit. But I, I um, I'm about to pull it up for this dust, okay? Because I don't want any more dust in my mouth. I'm going to go ahead and season this nail file. What that means is that I'm going to take this one, the new one, and scrape it against the edges against the old one so that the edges aren't so sharp. And yeah, I'm putting my mask up, but y'all still should be able to hear me. I'm just going to be a little muffled, but y'all still be able to hear me. Okay. Okay, so that should do it. Um, locks. Yes, I was thinking of that getting lock extensions because, like I said, I have natural hair. Um, so my hair shrinks. Y'all, you know, for those girls with natural hair, especially like four, like type four hair, um, y'all know, like my hair is like down my back, but when it's in this natural state, it shrinks all the way. It shrinks half the amount of the length of my hair, and it's so annoying. So if I had locks, if I got locks, they would be super tiny. Um, but I definitely thought about lock extension locks. Something about teachers, but for real, always do natural styles. But everyone should feel a little saucy sometimes in black baby steps for me. Oh yeah, and black color, color black, yeah. I heard that. For professionals, what would you recommend? I'm looking for a good brush. Nail houses, Kalinsky brushes are really, really good. The one I just used, love, love, love nail house brushes. The link to nail house is in the description. And you all can use my code Portia. I love, this is the only um, Kalinsky brush I use. Oh, my finger came out, my glove um, ripped, but um, yeah, I like nail houses, Kalinsky brushes a lot. Girl, you don't need no more dust. Literally, Alicia, literally. <laughs> the noise, I'm so dead, Alicia. Yeah, the noise is a little annoying. Sorry, girl. <laughs> No, I think it's be going like every way. I'm so dead. I know I ain't the only one. Oh, I wish I can snap my fingers and my nails be filed. I feel like this one loose. I'm gonna pop this one off. I could just feel it getting loose a little bit. It happens when I file sometimes. But I rather that happened and it be stuck on there, you know? And if any of y'all are interested in my pop-off method, the way that I do it so that I'm able to pop my nails off right after, um, I do have a video. It's linked in the description. Oh, acrylic system stuff. Um, love nail house. Yeah, I love nail house for professionals. Um, yeah, I love their acrylic, their monomer. I love nail house. They just don't have like prepping things. For me, a secret, I love. Um, I mean, for prepping, I love me a secret like uh, prep, like their primer and stuff. Oh, I also love. I do. Um, Laura, what am I trying to say? 
Young Nails Protein Buckles, I have tried their, I have not tried their whole acrylic system, but um, I have tried their protein bond and I swear by that. Yeah. I also heard but never have tried it, even till this day, which is really bad. Um, I've heard that Zule's acrylic system is really good. Zule's nails. Man, Alicia. <laughs> I really... I mean, I don't want to say hate it. I never really want to say hate it. It's like a blessing and a curse, but it's like annoying, man. I have 4C hair, so my hair shrinks literally half the amount of the length that my hair really is. I'm not even joking. And my hair is like down my back. I say I have a, I have a good, I have a good 16 inches of hair, <laughs> natural hair. I always cut it when I take my braids out, so it's like I just try to keep it healthy that way. Like I always give myself a trim, um, like a lot, like often. And I'm not so good especially recently without uh keeping heat on it like i've been really doing really bad doing that lately like having a lot of heat on my hair but yeah it's annoying it's like it's a surprise because you don't know like if it's in this natural state you don't really know how long my hair is but it's also very annoying when i want like different styles and i don't look like i'm bald head <laughs> when i'm not I've only been natural for like, um, do the math for sure, like eight years, maybe like seven years. Like I cut all of my hair off when I was 16 years old. I'm currently 23. So that's how long I've been natural. Well, I almost had, I didn't cut my hair bald, I big chopped. So it was like, it was basically bald, but not really. <laughs> oh my God, y'all, this nail won't today. We should be for me, man. I don't got time for this. I'm trying to hurry up. um it's all good i've always well it's always the sound of prepping the files that happens to me in real life too yeah that noise is annoying to me as well as when i um when i use the e-file to shape the tips of my nails I hate that noise too it's really cringy okay y'all i did the moon shape yay with the nail file yeah it does work with the the file oh wait you didn't say it wait i did the moon shape nail with the mandrel bit after i applied the acrylic came out so good good um a very good i'm glad it worked out for you yeah i know you could pretty much use any bit that you want to use um i just use that one because it's one of my go-to's and then also because um it's like um carbide so i think it's like a little faster but um i'm so glad you were able to achieve it and i need this nail to stay on now i don't have time for this you're so welcome a Chanel, I'm on my iPad, so, and this iPad is, like, ages old, <laughs> so I can't even see those emojis, man. <laughs> I'm naturally bald-headed right now. Oh, my God, Isabel. Um, it was a big chop at first, and it became an addiction. Oh, so you like to cut your hair a lot? Sometimes I want to cut my hair again because it used to be really thick. Like, it used to be really thick. I was looking at old pictures before. My goodness, how thick my hair used to be. I mean, I kind of like it, but at the same time, don't like it because it's a little bit more easily manageable now. But oh, I used to love the way my hair looks thicker.
Okay, what time? Okay. Let me see what time it is. It's 2 15. Girl, I need to be done filing these nails by. I'll give myself 15 more minutes by 2 30. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go fast, y'all. 2 30. I'm here, y'all, watching on the TV right now. Okay, Chanel says, thank you for being here. Seriously, thank you. I know y'all, well, it's a little bit earlier for you because you went Pacific time. But I appreciate y'all so much for being on here. Yes, the big child becomes addictive. I've done it multiple times, lol. I try to stay away from scissors when I'm under stress. Yeah, I've only big child once. I was thinking about doing it again, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. It's just hair though, it definitely will grow back. But I want locks. And it will all be for nothing if I can't grow, if I can't get my hair a little bit longer to get my locks. Probably the heat making it look thinner. It is, Alicia. It is for sure. I've done it multiple times, but my hair is so thick, so it's not it's not really missing any thickness, if that makes sense. But when I see other like old pictures, it was way thicker, if that makes sense. Um clothes being stressed out. Yes, yeah, Alicia, it is. I don't think I want to cut my hair again. I was traumatized when, like, sometimes when I have, like, butterfly, when I do butterfly, because I do my own hair, y'all. When I do, like, butterfly locks, um, well, particularly butterfly locks, when I be cutting the locks out, I cut my real hair a couple times, so it was like, I cut a whole braid, like, a whole chunk of hair, two whole chunks of hair out of my hair, and I was traumatized. I don't think I want to cut my hair ever again, other than the regular trims that I do. I wish I could see these nails. I'm so proud right now. I'm so glad for you, A. I'm so happy for you. I love that for you. The moon shape is so cute. And you did, did you do? No, that was, um, that was, um, Khadija saying she's gonna do all red nails. What kind of nails did you do, A? I feel like I didn't even, I feel like I'm in a new style. I feel like it's not falling um, too good. Like, I need to hurry up. And sometimes too, I have no choice but to, um, I don't want to cut myself, so I'm going to use the old one that I already seasoned. Sometimes I have no choice but to take long filing because, um, no, I don't even know what I was going to say. I really don't know. I just went brain dead. It just takes so long. I don't know if Jeannie's still here, but I ran out of my dryer sheets. That's why I don't have one on top of here. I need to buy those one thing that Tori has showed me. Those one things that's made like for, you know, like nails to go on top of the dust collector that I found on Shein. 
I need to get those. But I haven't been buying stuff, y'all. I've been doing so good without buying stuff. I'm not buying nail stuff anymore. The only stuff that I need run out of. But I want to get those. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Because I... I I feel it now. I was gonna say sometimes I don't have no choice but to like how long I take five nails. Sometimes my arm be hurting, y'all. After a while, like my arm be hurting. Like I have to take a couple second breaks. Like I just did just now. I swear, if I it's a whole freaking workout. I know I ain't the only one. Alicia, you, do you have type 4 hair? Um, I'm doing birthday set. They're like a pink with a bunch of chimes and some pink flowers. Sounds so cute, eh? Hey, what's your full name? Not your full name, like your whole government name, but like, is A short for something? <laughs> yes, happy early birthday. Girl, it does take long. I have, wait, I have yet to do the other hand. Oh, oh, I have kids too, so I had to put them to bed midway through. Yes, I feel you. I don't have, it's like, if y'all wasn't here, literally, I would have kept the application, came back tomorrow. Um, that's what I be doing sometimes with my videos. Um, I do application, come back and do the shaping and the rest. Cause like, y'all not here in real time when I edit my videos. So it's like, I can come back. But since we live, I can't come back. Oh, you did see them, Alicia? Yeah, they have. I think so far they have pink and blue of them. I want the pink ones. I have them in my cart forever, but I haven't checked out. Sometimes I'll be liking to wait until I like need other things instead of just one thing, ordering one thing, you know? That's the reason why I haven't really bought them yet. I need to break my arms hurt me <laughs> for a couple seconds. I thought about saving the used dryer sheets too. Um, actually I haven't. That would be actually kind of smart, but I just kind of dumped it. I just kind of bundle it up so that the dust don't fly anywhere and I just throw it away. What time is it? I got seven more minutes. <laughs> Just trying to time myself, y'all, so that we can make a little decent timing so that I don't have y'all here all night long, all morning long. It's technically morning when I am almost 2.30 a.m. I love, love, love this freaking thumb ombre. Yes, multi-texture type work. Same. It is so weird, Alicia. Same, I swear to you. So, the majority of my hair is 4C, right? The front is like 4B. The middle is like 4C. And the back is like 3C. It's so weird. It's the weirdest thing. I don't, but, I mean, I guess it's like unique. I don't really know. But, why can't my hair just be all one texture? And it's not because I have... Like before, when I cut my hair, my hair was like that. It's not because of heat damage or anything. It's so weird. And it's so annoying because where my curls are like way looser at, naturally, like that part of my hair is like, it, it appears thinner if that makes sense. It's so weird, it's in the back. And it also grows differently, like the, Back of my hair grows longer than the rest of my hair. And that also proves that like looser textured hair grows like, and not necessarily grow faster, but it 
because it's like looser texture it doesn't get tangled as much so you maintain length if that makes sense it's so annoying but my hair is never even which i really don't care about because because it kind of looks layered since my hair is way longer in the back um but it's just annoying like texture wise how it's different textures it's so annoying to me and my hair breaks faster um in the back too since it's like a way looser texture like it's way looser it's so dumb didn't see the pink only blue hmm. maybe the pink sold out you know girls be going crazy for pink i have those sheets from timo haven't tried them yet i think they would be really nice opposed to using dryer sheets because they'll be they'll last longer too and they're cheaper You would think I got like we on like 10x speed. <laughs> I'm just trying to hurry up. So I still have to file the tips of them. We still gotta do the design. I think we'll we'll breeze through the design. Um, the only thing that probably take me a while is these 3D flowers that I want to do so badly with these acrylics. I think it would be so freaking cute. If I can get it done right. Sometimes my 3D flowers come out cute. Sometimes they don't come out so cute. I still haven't all the way mastered them. But if I do, if I was to practice more, I definitely will. But I don't practice a lot doing 3D flowers. Um, A, I live in Ohio, and um, it's been like 50, 60-ish degrees here. Not super cold to me anyway. That's not cold to me, but people like like Floridians or Californ Californians or whatever you want to call those people, if it was like 50 degrees where they are, they'll be um, freezing. <laughs> They're like perfect weather for me, like 60 degrees, 65 degrees is like perfect weather for me it's not too hot or too cold to me it did snow the other week which is crazy because then like the days before it was like 70 something degrees like almost 80 degrees and the sun was out so freaking weird weather is weird y'all is it cold where you are a eh? Hey, I'm way late. Hello, I'm, I'm doing my hair. I should have done my nails. Hey, no journey. Um, what are you doing to your hair? I'm gonna pop this one off, y'all. I can feel it getting loose. What are you doing to your hair? Don't judge my index finger, y'all. I don't have no nail on there, barely, because it always breaks, that one in particular. I don't know why. It's like a little nub. <laughs> Um, some is just naturally like that. I have, I usually have to pack the top of my fro diff, oh, pick the top of my fro differently or tuck it to the sides where I part it. Yeah, same. And it doesn't look thinner in the light because of the, oh, and it does. Yeah, same, Alicia. I hate it so much in the back of my head. Mine is reverse <laughs> in the back. I have not tried 3D flowers yet. I think they're really cute but they're hard to get down. It just takes some time. Just like with anything though. I just don't package them often. So I just take the alcohol after I apply my top coat and wipe it off just so that the nail can stick easier. Does that make sense? So it's not like so smooth. I want to say thank you because you're, oh by the way Portia, i want to say thank you because you're the reason i learned to do nails how i want it oh and thanks so much and i'm so glad that i can be of help to you that's sweet 
is what I do it for. It is what I do it for. I remember being a beginner and I would just love, love, love if it was like tutorials out like mine. That's why I do what I do. As a beginner though, um, I always have to shout out Natalie uh, Carmona because she is one of the people who I used to watch a few of her videos as a beginner. Her like acrylic application and things. Um, but it's, tips are always good. Tips are always good to go off of i really feel like with anything not just nails it because experience is the best teacher experience is the best teacher you have to do something over and over and figure out what different techniques for you and everything because because this you know it doesn't always like something does not always work for everyone if that makes sense like um yeah if that makes sense like and I don't really want to say it like that. Pretty much it's like, I can tell y'all something, but until y'all try it and do it like yourselves over and over again, I like find different techniques that work for you all. Um, and that one's a little sharp. Yeah, then you'll get it down. But I'm, I'm glad that I can be of help to y'all. Honestly, I'm honored. I don't know if you already answered this, but do you like that dust collector? I was thinking about getting it. No journey, I do like it. Um, I always say that because this is my first time trying any type of dust collector, I don't have anything else to compare it to. Hopefully y'all can hear me well with this mask on. I think y'all can because by now I would have said something. But I don't have anything else to compare it to, but I think it's pretty good. Um, it does have two speeds on here. We, I'm using the lowest speed right now. This right here is a little louder. Y'all hear that? It's what I would normally have it on if we weren't on here, but that's kind of loud. I don't know how my finger busts through this glove. Um, but it collects the dust. I mean, it does a job. I can tell that before and without, when I didn't have it, my area just in general would get a little bit more dustier as far as like the things that's on my desk and things because it's not something sucking majority of the dust out of the air, if that makes sense. So I think it works. It does what it's supposed to do. I like it. And it was inexpensive. It was like $100. I'm in Texas in a thunderstorm right now. It was raining here earlier. It's been a little rainy lately. It's 47 degrees where I live in California. I'm close to the mountains though, and I, and I'm so cold. Oh, I'm sorry, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Chanel. Are you still here? Where's the what? What's the weather where you are? Yeah, I like the rain. I love the rain, actually. I'm washing, straightening it, some, something simple so I can go lay down. I know that's right, Journey. No, but washing and straightening, straightening it ain't simple to me. <laughs> Not for my hair. It'll take me all day to do that. I don't even, I can't even do that in the same day. I have to wash my hair and, and do my treatments and all that in one day, and then I have to blow dry it and flat iron it the next day. Um, it's not currently raining here in Ohio. It was, though, earlier. I love beauty flowers, though. I've seen a lot of charms. I wonder if they sit right on the nails. Oh, like flower charms? Oh, y'all, my arm hurting. Hold on. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I follow Natalie. Yep, she's, she's great. She's one of the pioneers well for me anyway like i feel like and it could be i could be tripping it could be just in my own little world but i feel like you can't really mention nails without mentioning natalie because she's one of those people on youtube that's like prominent with nails you know like in the beginning like i told y'all when i was a beginner i definitely she's one of the people probably like one and one of the only people i used to watch i don't do too much of like youtubing and things like that i pretty much learned a lot on my own but she is one of the people that I used to watch a few of her videos, for sure. Okay, I can, I can continue. You know, my arm and hurting that bad. Um, yes, Portia, girl. I remember in the video you said something along the lines. It really just takes practice and while wow, it does really, it does, it really, really does, eh? I don't just be talking. <laughs> it really does. Take practice. I've been watching you since I was pregnant with my one out of two. 
Oh, that's so dope. But yeah, it really does. It really does. Like I said, tips and things are nice from people. Like it's nice to kind of get a gauge or whatever. But it really, it really takes you just doing it on your own and figuring out what works for you and how to do different little things and different techniques and things like that. Or you have to stay consistent. Otherwise, it's like, if you don't stay consistent with something, you can't really know, like, what you need to do different or, like, you have to stay consistent to see any real progress. And like I said, consistency don't have to mean, like, every day or every other day. Like, consistency can look like if you don't have time. Because I know people have kids, jobs, different little things they have to attend to. Consistency can look like once a week. That's some type of consistency. That's, like, bare minimum. But you gotta stay consistent. Otherwise, you'll forget. And you'll forget get the flow of it just like if i sat here right now and try to do my right hand on camera it would be a disaster because i've been out of although like years ago i used to always do full sets on myself and i could do my right hand like nothing but now since i've been out of commission from doing it for so long it's like i don't remember anymore it's like barely it's like hard it's already hard but i used to have it down when i used to do full sets on myself but once i started my youtube channel i stopped doing both my hands and i started uh doing the pop-off method Is it 2.36? I'm six minutes over the time I said I was, should be done filing my nails. Okay, I'm about to turn Harry. It's really been, it's been raining the past few days, but I don't think it's right now. Some parts of, wait, some parts have tornado or thunderstorm warnings. Oh, Lord. In Texas? No, I hope not. Sorry, y'all. This one's going to be so annoying. Pinky nail is so much shorter. I'm so dead. I hate that the nail tip come like that. Like the pinky nail is always so much shorter. So I believe it's so much smaller than the rest of them. It used to really bother me. And I used to always like do all of my nails the same length because of the pinky, like the same length as the pinky, but all my nails would be super short. I really don't care that much, not anymore. I thought one of these nails to prick it. It's the middle one. I don't know if I took this one off. I probably didn't take it off and glue it back on, but that's definitely cricket. Sorry, I wasn't flicking y'all off. <laughs> no problem.
I really want to know how my whole finger busts through this glove. That's what I want to know. Sorry, let me see what y'all saying in a moment. I'm trying to hurry up and these nails. Take this mask off. I'm hot. on this one. Hmm. Not that long. I just feel like we've been here long because of the other lives, but we haven't been here that long actually. Long enough though. Okay, let me see. Yes, uh, Alicia, I agree. Yes, A. I don't know if you told us your, um, I asked your full name, not your, like, government name, but, like, your first name is A short or something. Um, because I want to address you as your name, but, um, what am I saying? What am I saying? That is so freaking dope. That is so dope and exciting. I know. Why well, I feel like it's going so fast? Let me just turn it down some. Okay. Maybe I'll work. I'm tripping. Do you have like two girls, a girl and a boy, two boys, and. That is so exciting. I didn't do so good with this cuticle application today, but it's all good. It don't have to be perfect. He's literally popping off. Yeah, the big, the big flower charm. So much of the ones you do. Okay. Um, I've never. I think I know just ones you're talking about. I've never actually tried using those. If you're talking about the ones that are like 3D, the ones that come pre-made. Unless you're talking about those other ones. There's so many flower charms. Okay, y'all. How are we looking? The cuticle part not so cute, but it's okay. Oh, it's so good to that application at the cuticle. Not used to using this acrylic that dries a little bit slower. It's all good though. Um, 
Um, oh, let me scroll down. Oh no. Hopefully not. Hopefully everybody stays safe. Good night, Chanel. Thanks so much for coming and helping as always per usual. I know you don't say don't say thank you, but I appreciate you. And I will chat tomorrow, sis. Have a good Good night. Hey, Lala. Hey, Lala. I haven't seen you because well, I haven't been on here. I think that's my fault. Hey, how are you? Oh, now it's pouring. I wish I can start pouring here so I can sleep real good. First of all, let me change this glove out. I don't know how my whole thing is busting here. <laughs> I have two girls, LOL. I'm happy though, because I wouldn't know what to do with the boy. Aw, that's so cute. That's cute. Okay, cool, Alicia. I know exactly which ones you're talking about. Oh, y'all, so I got this, um, I got this little thing from Shein. If I'm remembering correctly, it's like just little, I actually don't know what this is. <laughs> I thought that this was, um, am I tripping? I have to go back to my orders to remember what this was. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I know. I know what this is. This is um like a like a monomer dish with a little thing that go at the bottom that's supposed to help keep it a little cleaner, I guess. I think this is. I should never even say nothing because I think that's what it is, but I'm not absolutely sure. But it's like cool. I haven't tried it yet. I just um opened it yesterday from the package. I haven't tried it yet. Anyway. So let me see. I want to do like a pink. I want to do like a pink type of. Okay, let me take this mask off now. Okay, that feels so much better. Let me find like a little pink kind of color. This one, I'll do Pink Panther. I want to do like a glitter. Like a glitter nail. Maybe tie it in with like a little French. Okay. I'm gonna use this is one of my favorite glitters in the world from Zule, her Luho glitter. So I use that and I just just bumps my whole day. And I'm gonna do some pretty flowers. I wanna use all of these. And the pink one. Where's the pink one? Oh, the pink one's right here. I'm tripping. Okay. I think that's all the colors that I want to use. Um, let's just do this. I hate how ashy my hands get after doing the alcohol. It looks so ugly, ashy. 
That's good. Okay, so get a brush. Turn that down some. Five millimeter brush. That's just not crooked. Sometimes the hairs get caught in the cut and it gets a little wonky when I take the cap off. Okay, so I want to do a full. Don't put acetone on your brushes. I do it because that's just what I'm used to. And I never really had a problem with the liner brushes. Um, but don't do that. I don't recommend. So I want to. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat. I'm gonna top coat. Hold on. The ombre nail because I'm gonna be putting the design for those on top. All right, make sure I miss a note. Um, I don't know why I came in YouTube at this, but I'm glad I did. Probably you saying at this time I'm missing. And you on your Porsche. Yeah, I've been missing y'all too. I was just saying that I've been super busy and I've been missing y'all. Like I'm like, I need to get on here. I haven't had any time at all to do anything. Like YouTube wise. Y'all ignore ignore my cuticles, okay? And my ashy hands. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. I love, 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 love these acrylics. The acrylics that I use, these are nail houses. These are six of seven. And then the one that's not here is the blue one. But we got the turquoise one right here. But nail houses new Easter collection is called Easter Basket Collection. Um, just dropped yesterday, I want to say. No, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. Get me to line. It was a couple of days ago. Um, it had dropped. Seven colors. We swatched it on the live that we did previous to this one, like, at least two hours or so ago. It's um, on my channel, on the live tab, whenever y'all want to check it out. These colors are so beautiful. I used all of them except for the blue one. Like, um, that one's called... I forgot what it's called. Hold on, I should have did these separately because I like to cure my thumb by itself, but it's too late. Giving very much Easter. I love it. And the new that we used was um, Nail Houses Honey. Patrice, yes. That's why I love the thumb one. It is like a sunset. It's so cute. Thank you, Lala. Thank you so much. Thanks for answering that question. I'm going to get it, and it has good reviews, too. Yeah, it does. The dust collector. I like to, um, when I was thinking about getting it, I looked up a lot of YouTube videos, see what people were saying about it. And it was cool reviews, you know? Like I said, what's the worst that could happen? I've never had a dust collector ever before, so I have nothing to compare it to, and it does what it's supposed to do. I'm not really complaining, for real. Thank you, Lala. It's new. Thank you. I thought it was something else. I thought what was something else. Okay. That's how that is looking. So cute. Love it. Okay. Now, let's, I guess, go ahead and... Hmm. I guess, since I already got the gel right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I had wanted to do. I wanna do a pink French, and I guess I'll tie in some more, a pink French glitter. I guess I'll tie in some more glitter on the this nail. Maybe I'll make the whole one glitter. But, um, I definitely wanted to do a pink glitter French. 
my cuticles look so freaking crazy and then it's like yeah that looks crazy just ignore that y'all <laughs> but what i'm gonna say oh and then we're gonna do some 3d flowers on the ring fingernail and maybe we'll add one or two or something at, a, at the cuticle on another on another nail or something i don't know we'll see we'll see as we go along Wait, should I get a, no, I think I want a purple, uh, not a purple, a darker pink. I think I want a darker pink. Yeah. That was just a waste. This one's cute, but I want like a darker pink. It kind of matches the pink on the nail. That one was pink right there. Uh, maybe one of these. Maybe this one. This one's like a pinky. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one. I think this one is sprung. And that's kind of like the perfect name too, huh? That one's sprung right there for nail hauls that we're gonna use. I just wanted to go a little bit darker. Lavender would be cute too, though. Y'all, should we do like a lavender? French or pink French. And actually that lavender from Nail um, Not Posh would have been perfect. Pick a color for me, y'all. Should we do a, uh, no, I think I'm gonna go pink. I'm sorry, I should never ask because I was gonna just choose anyway, huh? Nah, y'all choose. <laughs> Should we do lavender or pink French? Maybe this or I really like the lavender we swatched from Not Punch. Let me see. Struggle again, trying to pull this out of the hole. It wasn't that hard of a struggle. Yeah, let's do lavender. Thanks, y'all. So for sure, I require three videos, like three videos. Yes, Lala, yes. But I need to edit them. What do you use to edit your um, movies or videos? To edit yours, sorry. I'm trying to say iMovie is what I use to edit iMovie on my iPhone. But if you have an Android, I used to like using Video Guru. There could be better apps out there, but that's just what I used to use in the beginning when I used to have an Android. Yeah, I think Lavender would be cute, y'all. Um. But if you have an iPhone, I use iMovie to edit. I'm so proud of you, girl. That's really what's up. I might have to do two coats of this. I really mad at how this corner looks, I think. That's my skin actually pilling. But then I chipped too much acrylic off the, the edge there with the file. Yeah, I think purple would be cute. I don't know. Either way, I think it would be cute. And we're not about to think too much about these designs because I think whatever would be cute. I really don't want to do two coats of this. I said, we might can get away with just one coat. I really don't feel like doing two coats of this.
Should I not be lazy, y'all, and do two coats, or should we just keep it one? Because I'm putting glitter over it anyway. Which one I think? I'm putting, putting glitter over it. So do y'all think I should do two coats, or just keep the one? I can get away with one. Let me see. I think one would be cool. Let me see what y'all say. Two coats. Um, Jack her live. Hey, Crystal. Lavender will come back all that pink. Yeah. I'm gonna look for a video guru. Same time over here. Yeah, I used to love video guru. Just wanna pop in and say hi. I have to get up from work, but yes, it says looking good already. Thank you, Crystal Girl. Thank you. Just one coat probably is good enough. Yeah, let's just see. crystal which one do you like the most the thumb or the middle one i love the thumb it's giving like sunset okay that's kind of cute y'all that's so cute and the one coat looks perfectly fine i think so that's cute, y'all. That's kind of cute, y'all. Somebody asked me before a while ago how to make glitter, sugar, whatever you want to call it, nails last. Once you do this stuff, you want to press in the glitter a little bit so that it's not sitting on top and it can easily come off that makes sense also make sure the nail is super buffed underneath the nail so that the gel itself don't begin to peel or nothing not 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 super buff i mean like kind of etched up that makes sense so it can last a little longer that's actually cute y'all i'm gonna go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds actually go ahead and, and do the pinky i want this whole nail to be glitter So on the swatch sticks, when we swatch these not polished glitter, I mean not glitter, gels, they definitely were pigmented. They are, they're not as pigmented as like nail house. Um, because if I was just not going to be applying glitter over this, I definitely would do two coats, which is fine. Some just require two coats, but I just love a gel that just one coat and done. I achieved that with, um, with um, nail house and Madam Glam. Yeah, those are the only ones that I achieved that with. Just one coat and done. OMG, y'all. I'm not a big, huge purple fan, but I've been liking purple lately a lot more, like in the past year or so. And these are really cute. Okay, I hope y'all can see good. Let me try not to mess this index for a up. How clutch is this glitter catcher, y'all? These type of little things. 
Oh my god, I just realized that this glitter in particular like to stick, so it's like it's gonna be hard for me to get up off my desk. It like sticks real good. Too late now. OMG. And like in person, I wish I could see this in person. Can y'all see this? Why this glitter is my favorite glitter of all time? It's like, it's not super fine. It's just like, like thick and chunky enough where it like pops. You can kind of see it. Oh my God. Blue Hosa glitter from Zulay's Nails. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and care this, y'all. That's so cute. I, it actually would have been cute too if I did like a turquoise. Oh, let me put this back. I'm just gonna cure that for 60 seconds. I would say to be safe if you are wearing these. I'm not wearing these, but like maybe you want to cure glitter just because there's gel underneath. So that I can penetrate it, you know, a little better, cure it twice for six seconds. So 120 seconds total if you were doing like um this glitter type of nail. Also, y'all, another thing I need to do. Um I feel like I should play back in the morning, I have to get up in three hours. Killer girl, why you didn't go to sleep? Thank you so much. Okay, I am just gonna cure it twice just so that when I just just secure it twice. Um, but another thing I have to do, y'all, is get all of my and I've been saying that forever now. Like I need to get myself together. It's like, but I need to finish putting all of my pop off nails in the display that I started like so many months ago. And the only reason why I didn't really um finish is because I said I wanted to do it live with y'all. I think that would be like more fun, but it's gonna take forever. And it's like, girl, I need to start like yesterday. <laughs> like, yeah. I'll see how that glitter is sticking. It'd be sticking. And then when I wipe it up, it don't really come up like that. I have to wipe it real hard and just keep on. Oh my god, I didn't take this whole playlist off here. I just kind of added some playlists. I don't know, I like this playlist. Let me get out of here. I just kind of added it right on YouTube, and I don't like that one. Let me see. Okay. Lala, you can't find Video Guru? Hmm. Or, or type in video maker. They kind of go by that too. I don't know. Video, type in video maker. I forget how it even looks. But if you have trouble finding it, message me on Instagram and I'll help you find it some kind of way. I don't even know if it will pop up on my Android iPhone. You know, sometimes Android apps don't pop up on my iPhone. But I'm, I'm looking for this jar. I'm starting to get some. I couldn't figure out what I was looking for. That's the only thing I hate about this glitter is that it just gets everywhere and it sticks. As I can see, it's like, it's all in here because it just sticks. It don't go away. Like, it doesn't really, it's hard to get off of things, if that makes sense. But I love it to death. Okay. So freaking cute. Glitter. Well, I'm not even gonna try to get it off my fingers. I think it'll never come off. Barely. But I wanna get it off this middle here. It's gonna bug me. Oh. 
Okay. That's so cute, y'all. It would have been cute if I did it turquoise, too. That would have been super cute. But purple's cute. Okay, that's how we're looking so far. Now I'm gonna do like some flowers, the color of this, these. Um, this glitter got stuck to my thumb. That's what I don't like about this glitter. It just gets stuck everywhere. Um, I wanna do flowers on the ring finger gnome. Pretty flowers, the color of these acrylics. Whatever. Okay. Let's move on. It's stuck all over this bottle. Anyway, I used um cutie patootie from nail pol not from not polish this lavender color for this finger and this one. Now we're gonna move on to pretty flowers. I'm gonna add some like little bling and we're gonna get out of here, y'all. Appreciate y'all so much for joining. Thank y'all so much. Okay. Don't need this acetone anymore. Yeah, I don't need that in the beginning. Wish me luck, wish me luck, wish me luck. With these 3D flowers, it's not my strong suit. But. Also, it wasn't dead. It just wanted to play games. Oh, it is dead. Look at me. I spoke too soon. But why is it doing that? Maybe it is dead. Yeah, it's dead. What else? I just want this glitter up. I'll be here all night. Anyway. Let's go ahead and start these three flowers. So I'm just gonna put little monomer, little acetone, so that they can dry faster. Um, I think that I'm going to make this nail matte first. I'm gonna use um, dynamic matte top coat. I can't believe you're still on. I thought I was going to miss out. Yeah, Rochelle. Un well, not unfortunately, but I'm still here. I'll be taking a while. But we're almost done. some lint in here that's irritating me and in a second I'm not gonna worry too much about it oh I'm gonna go ahead and make this shiny that actually would have been cute but it won't look right if I I don't think it will because it would just like just look weird if I put matte right here I should have did it first and then did the glitter and stuff on top of it. That makes sense. It won't be as smooth as a transition between the two. Okay, shiny will be cute too on this, but I think I want it to be matte. <laughs> oh la la unfortunately sometimes i feel like it's a blessing and a curse that i'm a virgo
I'm just curing these um, nails for 60 seconds. Oh, I guess I kind of do, huh? She said, who's is that? Bree? The ombre match the, the table. <laughs> oh, let me see. That's the kind of do. <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, so. Oh, dang. This mat didn't go on too good. But I guess you won't be able to see once. Hmm. It doesn't look smooth, if y'all can see that. But, listen. It's all good. Oh, let me zoom you out a little. Hi, Josephine from the UK. Hey. Thank you, Christina and Latina. I actually kind of wanted to, um, I actually kind of want to use yellow for the center, but I've never done that before. And I don't know if that like yellow for like a little yellow dot for the center of the flowers. Should I do that y'all or use crystals? Vote, vote for me. Do yellow dots or, I wonder if that would be cute. If I did like this yellow. No, I wanna use a different yellow. Tell me y'all, should I do yellow for the center of the flowers or should I make the center of the flowers crystal? Perfect, the perfect yellow for the center. Yellow. Only one person said something. Well, Christina, I guess we'll go with yellow. Since you're the only one, thank you. And here I go, filling stuff again. Okay, the next person that comments, that's the one we're gonna go with, because I saw one yellow, one crystals. Should we do yellow or crystals for the center of the flowers? Crystals, okay, crystals it is. Wait, why am I closing this? Close this, not this. It's time for me to go to sleep, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna use the McCart rhinestone glue. I got Virgos too. Love it. Virgo gang. Okay. I always love seeing fellow Virgos. So cool. Um, let's just start one by one so that I can kind of like see where I want to place them. Does that make sense? Okay, and I'm gonna use this brush right here. I don't think oh, it's kind of messed up actually, but I think it will work a little bit. Let's see. So I use this brush for my 3D flowers because it's not a Kalinsky brush, but I hope I can see that. It's from Shein. It comes in a pack of different brushes. They are 3D brushes, but they're not Kalinsky. I highly doubt. Yeah. Um, but I love how flat it is. Y'all can see from the side. That's why I love using them for my 3D flowers. Can y'all see that from the side, how flat it is? Now me going on the speed of the, um, on the beat. I just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me think. I want to do all of these colors. They're so pretty. 
me move y'all a little bit. I want to start with screen. Y'all see I'm being good and I'm waiting for it to polymerize. may or may not talk a lot during this process because I'm not super advanced at three flowers. I need to focus a little. That's cute. I'm debating if I should do a third petal here or leave it. I think I might leave it. It might take, it might do too much. I'm just gonna, normally I would go ahead and apply the crystals like to the whole nail, then go back. But I think I wanna apply them as I go, just so that I can gauge where I wanna put them, if that makes sense. I just hate having to, maybe I'll just flash it each time. I hate having to stick my whole hand and lamp for six seconds every time. I think yellow would've been cute, but I'm gonna do some more spring looks so I can do like some more 3D flowers and then yellow. Um, y'all, this is not a nail little thing. It's like a regular UV light that I use for my nails because it cures fast because it has so many lights, if that makes sense. I got it from AliExpress for like $8. I don't know if you all can tell, but I use this, like I turn it sideways to kind of like create and press out my petal, if that makes sense. This is gonna turn out so cute. Thankfully. Um, Latina, the, the, um, the green one, the green one is Jelly Bean. These are all nail houses. These are all Nail House's um, new Easter collection. There's only one missing, which is a blue one. Um, can y'all see? And, sorry, I went silent in a second because I thought I had to burp, but it didn't come out. I wasn't gonna burp loud. I wouldn't have been, been able to hear, but. Jelly Bean, Carrot Cake, Happy Feet, Sugar Baby, bunny ears and peeps that was off the top of my head i remember okay i kind of want to do i'm gonna do a full flower here i think i want it to be turquoise i'm not the same size Maybe it was the same size, actually. That's a beautiful, oh, I heard, I saw that one. Are you doing each of petals in different colors? Yes, Lala. Like, um, I'm doing, wait, did you mean like, am I doing like one flower different colors? That would be cute, but. No, I just plan on doing all different type of color flowers. Not like different petals for each flower, if that makes sense. Oh, 
Where did you get a case, uh, case of crystals from? So it doesn't come like this. I bought them all individually and I get them from Sky Beads. If you're interested in shopping Sky, Sky Beads, the link to the website is in the description. And you, you can use code Portia for savings. And these colors, this all of these colors in particular are AB Crystal. Also, do not forget about the video I'm supposed to do showing you all different color crystals and shapes and sizes and different things. Just want to mention that for the 30th time. <laughs> I know, y'all, I know. I'm bad, but... I try. There's gonna be so much that um I need us to get it together. That's all. That's all. I wanted to use all of these colors, y'all. So that's what I'm gonna do for this now. It gets tricky for me when I try to do full flowers. I think that don't look bad. I don't look too bad. Okay, I think I'm gonna try. Mm. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do an orange kind of right here, like a little petal. I'm not doing like, as y'all can see, I'm kind of mixing it up. I'm not doing like pull flowers on the whole now. I'm just kind of do this this way. I love this orange color. I'm gonna leave that right there, right there alone, so that I don't mess nothing up. I'm gonna do some yellow. I want that purple. Thank you, Latina. I wish I could do acrylic flowers, especially with spring and summer coming up, but no matter how much I practice, I hate mine. Um, I don't know why I just said that like that. Ash? <laughs> um, sorry, I always recommend when you're doing 3D flowers to, as you all probably saw me in the beginning there, I put a little bit of monomer in my, of course, because we're gonna use monomer for the acrylic, but I also add a bit of acetone in there as well, so that I think the brush matters a lot. That's like one of the main things. But then I think that adding acetone into your monomer helps with the drying. Like it helps speed up drying, so that because if they're like, if you're pressing them, the indentations in them while they're still kind of wet, it won't look so good. Like you want it to start almost like drying a lot well that's just the way i feel like mine's look see this one was too wet um 
And the brush matters. This is like a little cheap little brush, but I like that it's, can you see that? How it's very like thin to a point. That's gonna help you a lot with your indentation and then just uh, practicing the bead size, I guess. Mine aren't perfect either. Like I need to still work on mine. Um, I was gonna say a lot. I mean, maybe not a whole lot, but I think I need to work on mine still. But as you can see, I take not this part, but I turn it sideways and I make my indentation for the pedal. No. And then sometimes I'll be having to turn my hand every which way so I can get it looking some kind of decent. That kind of, that's drying actually really fast. But the brush matters and you want to make sure that or not make sure but <laughs> using a little bit of acetone in my monomer helps me with speeding up the dry part and you want it to lay like a bead like that that's a little too wet but like a circle wait for it to dry some so that when you begin pressing it it doesn't like spread and like just, you know, spread to like how you don't want it to be, like not how you. I hope that's really making sense. I kind of suck sometimes at explaining things, but. Just coming out cute. A little bit is coming out decent. I wish this yellow was more like brighter, but it's still cute. I think I want to leave it. Um, sorry if I'm missing anything. I'm just focused and I, I'm tired. I think watching someone do the flowers will help a lot to learn how to do them. Yeah, I think so. I guess so. Given, given Easter. I don't know why I'm doing that. I just need to keep it steady. Okay, I think. I don't know. I think I'll do a smaller. Wait, which color have I not used? Purple. Let me do one little. Pink, probably a full pink one. Thank you, Rochelle. Oh, good night, Lala. I didn't even see you saying good night at first. Good night. Thanks for stopping by. See you another time. I'm going to be posting a video to YouTube probably like Saturday. I don't want this to overlap, but. Kind 
Yeah, Rocha, I think they're so cute. Ayana says, what's my favorite set I've done so far this year? I'm the wrong person to be asking that. It's so hard for me to choose, y'all. I could never choose. I just be saying they're all my favorite. I can pick a couple favorite. Let me think. Love, first of all, my New Year set. Love that one. Um, see. I was loving those Valentine looks. I love the duck nail one. I'll say her name every set. So I can't actually, I honestly, I can't really tell you. What is your favorite set I've done this year? <laughs> I'm flipping it back to you now. <laughs> I can't, I can't choose. This one didn't come out like how I want it, but it's okay. I would say like um, um I'm just being impatient, but it's best you let the the be dry a little bit before it's trying to spread it. That's what I was saying in the beginning. I'm just being a little impatient right now and this is I mean it's cool, like it's cute. It don't have to be perfect because flowers aren't really perfect like that. I gotta do some purple. And then I'll tie in one, maybe little, maybe like something orange or orange or green one, something like that. And I really don't want to do, well, too late. I'm about to do it. I'll do purple right here. And I'll just do stuck together. Actually, I think I'm gonna do purple at the tip so it can be more petals. And do a little another orange one right here. The pink, yeah, that one was my favorite ones for sure. Well, yeah, they're yeah, like I said, they're all my favorite, so I can't really. But those are my top favorite. Y'all know who's like super dope and three flowers? Sule, she's so good. I love like the glitter in these y'all like I said if y'all can just get your hands on one of them they are so pretty it's glitter nail house's new Eva basket collection so cute 
No, I wanted to do a third one. I wanted to do three, but I guess I spread that one out too much. It's gonna look a little weird. Two it is. And then my door creaking. It's probably because that window out there open. I want another blue one, but it's too it's not enough room. <laughs> There's not enough room. I don't want to overcrowd the new. Okay, y'all. Now I'm thinking that don't want to ruin the rest of the nails with adding too much. I have to think of something. Maybe like a couple cuticle blings or something. What y'all think for the ombre nails? Okay, I'm curious about this. But what y'all think for the ombre nails? Should I leave them? Like this or add like a couple of little cuticle blings or something. Which I think. I'm gonna cure this for now though. So make sure all the gel is cured. Then come out half bad, y'all. <laughs> Rochelle, um I guess not. I just don't wanna keep y'all here for a long time. That's all that is. But she's, no, she's really good. She has been one of my inspirations, too, as a beginner. And even still now, she's so dope. I haven't got on TikTok in ages and got one of her and caught one of her lives. actually feel kind of bad i just i couldn't keep that tiktok on my phone man because well first of all i'm always deleting it for storage but then most importantly it's just dangerous y'all i told y'all like i've never been a tiktok person ever 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 but one time i got on there like when i first started using it and i found myself scrolling until five o'clock in the freaking morning i said mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. no ma'am i'm not loving this pink one but it's so cute. I'm gonna add one more little stone right here. No, in all honesty, nails take, you know, they take some time. I don't try to beat myself up over time. It's just that, how long we been here? Oh, we been here three hours. No, it haven't been three hours. No. Scratch that. <laughs> it's time for me to go to sleep. 191 minutes. I'm just carrying this in the lamp. And then... Oh, let me see if y'all say I wish add some cuticle... Some cuticle bling or something. Thank you, um, Rochelle. Yeah, it is my second live. Leave them. What's up, y'all? Hi, Uncle Charles. <laughs> Leave him, I think. I don't do this hot. Yeah, Rochelle, it's dangerous. That app's dangerous. I only had it on my phone um, when I used to, to watch Zule's lives. That's the only how I had it on my phone. But it's like, I haven't been there in so long. It's like, oh my gosh. I need to come back and catch some of her lives. And I've been like super busy myself. It's like hard. So leave the leave the ombre nails, y'all. Leave them. 
What about this now? Should I add anything else or leave them? Right now while I'm asking all day, I'm about to ask the cuticle oil because sheesh. My hands are so ashy. But help me y'all, should I add any more, anything else to the nails? Sometimes less is more. I think these are really cute already, but I think something else would be even cute too. Actually, speaking of Zule, she's the queen of pretty flowers. I haven't really seen. Then I'm also not me. Don't be looking at everybody. I don't know. I, I but I haven't seen the people that I do follow and whatever. Like um, everyone is good in there, but she's like really good with her three flowers. Leave them. Leave them. Leave it. Rochelle, they only talking about that because they mad that TikTok's informational. That's the part. I, that's the only part I do like about it is that they are informational. So I'll say I'm leaving. I kind of feel like, hmm. Okay, I I have to add two cuticle blings to the in, to the end next one, and then we're gonna leave it. I promise. But they just be mad that it's informational and that they wanna ban that part of it. That's the only part I like about TikTok and watching Zule's live. Other than that, I don't be on there, and I don't be on there now. Period. Anyway, but. If they ban it, I won't miss it. But it is educational. So, like, it depends on what you watch and what's on your For You page or whatever because of what you watch. But my For You page is, like, all informational, educational things, nail stuff, different things. Not even really nail stuff. I don't be looking at nail stuff on TikTok. But, yeah. Just, like, life stuff, educational so, okay, that's more like it. Okay, now I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. I guess once this finger or this nail is done curing, I guess we're done then. Let me crack it a little bit. And there we go. I want this glitter off. Sweater sticks or everything. It's the most annoying in the world. <laughs> that was a little dramatic. It's not the most annoying in the world, but it's so irritating. I probably can't even see it. If I zoom in, y'all could see that. Irritating. And okay, um, let's see. Let's see. Here's our finished results. Basic, basic, but not really too basic. I'm trying over here because this is how they truly look. Over here, they look dull, like a little. This is how they look, like this. So cute. I love, love, love. I'm trying to put my thumb over here so I can see how, <laughs> how it ties in with these colors here. They do kind of match the desk a little bit. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. If y'all have any more questions or anything like that before we go, my um flowers aren't the best, but I tried. 
it's giving spring a little bit i could have added some um green like little petals but i think this is cute we'll have plenty of more time to do more spring looks spring is for another month or month and a half something like that barely even a month and a half technically because summer don't start until i don't know which day but not soon at all but here's our results y'all thank y'all so much for joining definitely miss y'all definitely gotta get it back rolling the videos and things I never joined. Oh, you never joined TikTok. That's so funny. I know that's right. I'm right, moving so fast. I'm a little bit slower. So cute. They're like simple. Sometimes simple is nice. Thank y'all so much. This uh, live will be available to play back on my channel on the live tab. And I will be seeing y'all again like Saturday. The live that we did previous to this one was watching all of the nail houses, these acrylics. Um, and then some not polished. That one is already up on the channel. I gotta make a thumbnail for both of these um, videos so I can find it a little easier. But yeah y'all thank y'all so much i hope y'all all have a beautiful night it's my night morning is currently almost 4 a.m here it's 3 52 a.m where i am so you girls are getting out of here thank y'all so much and i'll catch you all soon bye